Hello, everybody. Hello. 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 Hey, Fatima. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Welcome, girls. How are you? Everything okay? Yes. Welcome, Fatima, Maria, Brenda, Diana. How are you, girls? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. How do you feel today after the holiday? Everything nice? Did you relax yesterday? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. You did very good. That is very nice. That's cool. So after a, a long vacation, also for some people, right, that because of the rain, they didn't work, they didn't study, but we continue working. We continue studying, right? It's good to see you one more day. And we are going to continue with some review. And also at the same time, it's a practice to remember about the simple past. Remember that we use uh, uh, the form of did, right? With the simple past as regular and irregular verbs. Now we have here different verbs. Some of them are regular, other verbs are irregular. So we're going to check first. The first one says put the verbs in the correct columns, regular verbs and irregular verbs. So let's check here in the regular verbs. Maria, select one verb, please. The verb that you prefer from here, from the chart. The microphone, Maria, please. Play, play. Play, play. excellent, that's play. good. Okay, play is regular or irregular? Uh, regular. Regular, right? Yes, it contains ED, correct. So we write it here. That's play. So in the form of the past, we have played. Regular include the ED. Very good. That's nice. Great. Okay. Margarita. Hey, Margarita. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Hey, hey. Thank you. you. <laughs> nice to see you, too. Thank you. Select another bird, please. Okay. Eat. Eat. Very good. Is regular or irregular? I think it's irregular. That's irregular, right? Okay. That's correct. We have irregular. We have the verb eat. What is the simple pass of it? Eight. Eight. Perfect. That's right. Thank you. That's good. Yes, Thank you. Brenda. Thank you so much. Brenda, continue, please. Select a Visit. different verb. Visit. Visit. Perfect. Regular or irregular? Regular. Regular. Perfect. What is the simple past? Visit. Visit there, very good, that's nice. We have visit, our base form, and also our simple past. Excellent job, great. Thank you, Brenda, cool. Hatima, continue, another verb, please. Study. Study, very good. Regular or irregular? Regular. Regular, great. Okay, so what is the simple past? Studied. Studied. Right. So we have studied. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Let's erase it. This is letter T. Studied. Really nice. Thank you. That's good. Jennifer. Jennifer, are you there? Yes. Hello. Welcome. Yes. Check another verb, please. Select a different verb. Um. Have. Have. We have the verb have. That's regular or irregular? Is irregular. Irregular. Excellent. What is the simple past? Mm. I has. Has is the simple present, but third person. She has. He has. Or it has. 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 That's all right. Very good. Yes. Had is the past. 
irregular, right? Because it doesn't contain ed. Really good. Thank you, Jennifer. That's good. Let's continue then with Freddy. Freddy, welcome. Freddy. Hello. Hello, hello, Freddy. How are you? I'm fine. My teacher. Hey, welcome, William. How are you? Excuse me. I have a question. Tell me. Uh, what is the lesson that we have to do for today? Is to finish until the lesson two. <clears throat> lesson two. Uh huh. Is to finish lesson two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because Thank next you. week, next week we begin the lesson three. But we don't have problem if we forward. Uh, the, sure. The homework. Of course, yes. You can advance. Okay. You can Thank advance. You. What you need to try to do is not to get behind. So uh, advance. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. It's better to advance than get behind. Yes. Let's continue. Another bird. Who else? I mentioned here. Eric, right? Eric? Are you there, Eric? Why? Hey, 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 Eric. How are you? Select another bird, please. And tell us if it's regular or irregular. Like. Oh, like. Okay, we have the bird like. Regular or irregular? Regular. Regular, exactly. That's nice. What is the simple past form? Like. Liked. We only include as the base form it ends in lint E, is only include the D. No do with yes. ED, right? That's right. Thank you. That's cool. Freddy, continue. Another verb. Right. Which one? Right. Right. Correct. We had the verb right. Regular or irregular? Uh, regular. Are you sure? Is it written? Mm. Oh, no, no, no. Regular. Irregular, right? Yes. Irregular. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. So what is the simple past? Wrote. Excellent. That's right. Row. So you see, no ED. If it's no ED, then it's irregular form. That's great. Thank you. Let's continue. Let's see. Daniela, Daniela Beatriz, are you there? Yes. Yes. Select another one, please. A smile. A smile. Very good. Regular or irregular? Regular. That is regular, correct? Yes. Right. Let's write it here. Smile. What's the simple past? A smile. Smiled. Right. Very good. Smiled. Great. Thank you. That's cool. Herman. Hi, Herman. Yes. Hey, tell us another bird, please. Um, does. Which one? Does. Which one do you mean? The bird B, does. break, do. Do. From the chart, from the chart. Do. Okay. Sí. That's regular or irregular? Mm. Irregular. Irregular, right? That's great. It doesn't have ED. What is the simple past? Does. Does is simple present. But in third person. She does, he does, he does. But in simple past is different. Do you remember? It's the same auxiliary, but in the past. Deal. Deal, Deal. correct. Uh -huh. It's the auxiliary uh -huh. we use in the past and also uh, is the verb, right, that we conjugate. Great. Thank you. Nice. Wilfredo. Hi, Wilfredo. Hello, teacher. Hey, welcome. Thank you. Let's check, Let's check another verb, please, from the chart. Excuse me? Another verb. You need to select another verb that is on the list, but that is not here, right? Because they mentioned the rest. It's missing break, B. Uh, break. Break, all right, good. Regular or irregular? 
Es irregular. Irregular, that's great. Okay, so we have the verb break. What is the simple past form? Broke. Broke, perfect. Broke, excellent. You see, very different. No ED in this case. Great. Thank you, Wilfredo. Good. Sulma, how are you, Sulma? Welcome. The last verb is the verb B. That's regular or irregular? Um, regular. Are you sure? Is it B? Irregular. Irregular, right? That's correct. It doesn't contain ED. So it's irregular. What is the simple past? Actually, it has two forms, right? The verb B, it has two forms to conjugate in the past. Um, eh, I don't know. Don't remember? I don't remember. Yes. Gross. What? Was. 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 In was. where? Was. In where. where? Exactly. Same as the auxiliaries that we use, right? For the past. So it has two forms to conjugate. All depends on the subject that we are going to use. Excellent, guys. Really good job. That's nice. Okay. Do you have a new verb here? <clears throat> no new verb? No, teacher. All right, they are common verbs. Okay, good one. Now let's continue then with our next topic. <clears throat> As that was with the verb B was the last one, right? That we transform into the simple past. Well, we continue with that time, but now with the verb to be. We have been studied about simple past with the rest of the verbs that we know they are different. The simple past of the verb to be is very special. It has only two forms. The one that you conjugate right now, right? The one you told me was and where. But first, Let's have here the form. In the verb be, we got the past tense. As you mentioned, it was was and where. For example, they were happy. The subject is they. The verb is where. So that one is in the past. Then you have a complement. The boy was tired. Now my subject is the boy, the verb, is the verb to be in the past, that is was, and then you have complement. But let's check, when is that we used the verb to be? The same case or all of the uses that you have in the simple present. When do you use it in the simple present? To describe, right? For example, we used be to express feelings so you can describe the manner how you are. I am happy, I am sad, calm, silly, relaxed, all of that because this describing your feeling. Also the conditions, right? In what conditions can be a person, a states and descriptions. So all of these ones can also be conditions, calm, also personalities, right? Or here, a feeling happy, silly, relaxed, shy, sad, annoyed, nervous, surprised, hungry, angry, confused, hot, hard, sick, sleepy. Well, all of these ones are feelings, right? They describe the manner how a person or an animal can feel. Now, tell me, do you have a new feeling here? A new state of the person? Actually, all of these ones are adjectives too, right? Because they are describing, describing the subject. Do you have a new adjective there? A new feeling? Annoyed. Annoyed. Annoyed is like a, well, it's similar than angry. Like molesto, I feel annoyed. Also, it means fastidiado. That's also annoyed. So if I am annoyed because of the noise. 
sleepy. You need to sleep, right? Maybe you did not sleep well last night and you feel sleepy. Silly or silly and shy? Silly. In the case of silly, it's like when you want to make jokes. It's like silly is like tonto, pero no mentalmente, sino que a veces uno hace como cosas graciosas. Say, ah, don't be silly, you can say. So that's like that. And shy is timid, tímido, shy. So a person can be shy. So all of these ones can be used in simple present or also in the simple past to describe, right, the manner how the person was. That's why it's mentioned either in present or the past. So how do you think that what is the condition of this man? How is she right now? How is she that this woman or how is the man? How is he? Worried. He looks sad. Okay. He looks sad, probably worried. Uh-huh. Okay. Also a state, it could be like tired. Also, what about the woman? She looks tired. She looks tired, right? Correct. Good one. Okay. Now let's see. We have also a conversation. We got a conversation. We're going to watch it and then we're going to discuss vocabulary, expressions, and to practice. It. Then we'll pass the B if used. Hi to all. Welcome. To no problem with the video? No. no? All right. No. 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 It's okay. All right, thank you. Session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class where I'll explain the past of B. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. All right, time to practice it then. We're going to read it first. This conversation is about how was your vacation? Conversation between Celia and Don. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Okay, now tell me, any question with vocabulary? Some phrases? Waves. Which one? Great. Waves. Oh, Bonus. waves. This one, right? Waves. Yes. Waves are these ones. You know, when you go to the sea, you go to the beach, all the movement of the water at the beach, those are the waves. These ones are Thank the you. waves. It's the movement. Yes? Got it? Yes. Yes? All right. Any other one? Any other word? One. Want, this one is a negative form of a future, is this. Want, we got this one. Want is equals to a contraction of will not. Do you remember the auxiliary? This is a modal auxiliary, will. We use it for the future. And this one is negative, just that it's a contraction. So that if you say, you won't believe it, you will not believe it. It's a contraction, but it's only for the future.
Any other question? <clears throat> Tripe. Try. Let me see. Who is the character? Is Celia or, or John? Celia. Celia. Let me see. The weather? Trip. Trip. Oh, you mean trip. Thank you. Trip. Trip is like an excursion. That is literally the translation. Excursion. So what uh, what was the best thing about the excursion? Like when you go to a place, right? If you go to El Cerro Verde, for example, that one is an excursion. You go to the beach, it's an excursion. It's a trip. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Okay, let's practice it then. Let's begin it. Let's see. Brenda, can you begin, please? You're Celia. I don't how. I don't how was your vacation. Thank you, Eric. Continue. It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Really good. Thank you, Maria. Continue, please. The microphone, Maria, please. Look at you. Lucky how you. Lo how long were you there? There. That's good. Yes. Thank you. Let's see, Andrea. About a week. About a week. Thank you, Diana. Fantastic. What's the weather okay? Really good. Thank you. Solva. No, uh, really. It is quite cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waste were amazing. 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 Thank you. Very good. Betsaida, welcome. Continue, please. <laughs> So, so, what was the best thing about the trick? Really good. Thank you. Continue, Herman, please. With well, something, well, well, something, something, incredible, something, something incredibly incredible, incredible, a pet happened, happened to want. Really believe it. Believe, believe it. it. Really good. Thank believe you. That's good. Marvin, now you begin again. Hi, Don. Okay. Okay. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? Thank you. Pablo. It was, pardon, it was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Really good. Thank you. William. <clears throat> like you. How long were you? Hello, where are you there? Thank you. That's good. Selena. About a week. About a week. Thank you. Daisy. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Really good. Thank you. Wilfredo. Not really. It was cloudy most of the time, but we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. Really good, thank you. That's good. Yes, let's continue then with um, Fatima. Fatima Larissa. Yes. So what was the so what was the best thing about the trip? The trip. The trip. The trip. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer Sarai, Raquel. Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. That's right. Thank you. That's good. Okay. We got that conversation there. Notice that here we have the use of the verb to be, but also we have simple pass of the rest of the verbs. 
Now, let's check here. So what is the form? Let's see about this objective that we got. It says, in this session, participants will study the path of B. Question and short answers will be taught. So let's check about the structure that we have. We have affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Check the form, depending on the subject. If you got the subject I, then the verb B in the past is was. If you have you, is where. He, she, it, is was. So basically, if you use I, he, she, it, is was. I in the third person form, singular, is was. You were, right? The same case of you, we, you, and they, they are where. This one is affirmative. Now let's check negative. Remember in the negative, you can use a contraction form. So you could say, I was not or I wasn't. You weren't. He, she, it, wasn't. We, you, they, weren't. Interrogative form, the verb be as is unique. You don't have another verb here. So it's the same auxiliary. It's only one. So it's was I, were you, was he, was she, was it, were we, were you, were they. <clears throat> now, let's remember here that we have the subject you repeated because one is referring to singular and the other one, it can be for plural, right? If you have two subjects or more subjects here. So let's check the grammar focus. We have the pass of B. We I'm sorry, it. teacher. Yes, um, tell me. I have a question. Um, tell me. It's a, a little question. What is the pronunciation between where the place and where the, the uh -huh. past? The auxiliary or the verb uh -huh. to be. Yes, they are very similar. Just that when you pronounce the verb be, then uh -huh. this one, it takes less time. You say, where are you? For example, here in the question, say, where are you in Hawaii? But mm -hmm. when you have the question of the WH is like this. We are going to mark the difference. For example, if you have where, where are you yesterday? Now we got them together. But <laughs> let's check. <laughs> Sound very similar. But in the case of the WH words, you investigate the place, you take more time. There is more duration in the pronunciation where so it's not simply where where mm -hmm. were you yesterday yes. okay thank you good teacher you're welcome so let me check here let's make it here because it was another letter there where were you yesterday so this word, as I was mentioning, it takes more time to pronounce it. Like, where were you? Where were you yesterday? Sometimes people pronounce it like, where? Where were you yesterday? But also you can pronounce it, where were you? But you take more time in the WH word to pronounce it. It's just... A very small difference, the one that you have in the pronunciation. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay, so let's check here in the grammar focus. The structure in a question. Yes, no question, the first. It says, were you in Hawaii? What first we have is the verb to be, then the subject, complement. As it's a question, you need the question. Was the weather okay? Right? So let's answer them. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. So the question goes for you, right? So my subject here, it has to be different. It changes. Was the weather okay? Now my subject here is the weather. As we're talking about something, then my subject has to be it. So it got negative. Remember that in a negative form, if this one is short answer, it needs to be contraction. So, no, it wasn't. <clears throat> Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, 
we were. Now the subject here is plural. So it's you and another person. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. This is in the case of a yes, no question for. Now in the WH questions, it could be, how long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Look at that here. My subject is it. Why it? Ah, but we're talking about vacation. It's not talking about a person. So my subject is not a person. It's something. That's why is that you use the subject it. Contractions. Wasn't. That refers to was not. Or weren't. That's equals to were not. Now, this one is just introduction. Do you have questions so far? All right, Wendy, I can see your message there. That's okay, you are driving. Thank you for informing. No questions? Thank you, Selena, for informing. Is having issues. Okay. No questions about that? <clears throat> no, no. no. Okay, let's check no now. Question. Some... All right. Let's see some more examples. Yes, no questions. And the first one we got here once, like the ones appear in the video to have a format. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? So let's verify others. Were you happy about the concert? Yes, I was. That's my favorite music band. Look at that here. We can give a short answer and finish in the verb to be. And at the same time, it can be our auxiliary. So the rest is only extra information that you're giving. Was Jeremy exhausted about the soccer match? No. We wasn't. Now, I need you to check if this one is correct or incorrect. Tell me. <clears throat> the subject here is Jeremy, right? So he's investigating about Jeremy. So the answer is okay or not? <clears throat> I Pablo? think not. Incorrect. 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 Why? Why is it incorrect? It's plural. The subject. Ah, the subject, correct. Aha, uh -huh. in the answer, he's saying we. It's like if including me, right, and another person. But according to the question, that's not the subject. What is the correct form? No, he wasn't. Perfect, that's good. Because you're talking about Jeremy. Excellent. That's something we have to be very careful, right? Because the question can be about some person, but you cannot answer about a different person, right? <laughs> That's great, cool. Now, let's see the next one. You're going to repeat this one. Sandy. Uh -huh. Sandy, are you there? Sandy Roxana? Yes. All right, can you please read the third question? Uh, were the guys angry because of the traffic jams? Traffic jam, thank you. What is traffic jam, guys? Traffic jam is when there is a lot of cars and they are stuck. They cannot move. That's traffic jam. When we say, ah, okay, there is a lot of traffic, but okay, it's normal. The cars are passing, but when the cars cannot move, that is traffic jam. It's problem of traffic. So let's check about the answer. Estela. Estela, Guadalupe. Yes. Yes. Can you read the answer, please? <clears throat> of course, they were. Of they course. Have, and of course. Of course, they, they were. were uh -huh. have, they had. And they had an interview. And interview? it was late. And it was late. Very good. Thank you. Let's analyze the answer. Is it correct or incorrect? Of course, they were. They had an interview and it was late. 
<clears throat> I think it's correct. It's correct, yeah, that's nice. Look at the subject is according to the question. Is they correct? And then continue talking about the same subject. They had an interview and it was late. That's all right. Great, guys. That's nice. This is in the case of yes, no question. Do you have any common question? Any doubt? All clear. All clear? All right. Let's continue now with the WH. In the case of the WH questions, we got like this. We know that we need to include different WH words. For example, how long? How long were you at the party, Ashley? Remember here, we need to make a pause, right? Because there is a subject that we direct the question to. I was there for two hours. Now, in the answer, it doesn't say yes or no, right? Because it's a specific information. Nice. How was it? It was pretty cool. All our friends were there. So let's check. Is it correct structure or not? The answer. How long were you at the party, Ashley? I was there for two hours. Is that correct? No. No? Why? Yes, it is correct. It's correct, right? Yes, it's because correct. in the yes, question is it's you. Uh -huh, correct. So it's in accordance to the question, right? How long were you at the party? I was there for two hours. And also, you got the answer. Because investigate about how long, the duration, right, of the time. That's cool. How was it? Now, is investigating about how was the party? So that it is referring to the party. That's to omit repetition there. It was pretty cool. Remember here, pretty cool. You have pretty and then you have an adjective. It means very, very cool, very nice. All our friends were there. Uh -huh. Is this correct? Yes. That's right, right? You say all our friends. It's plural. Where is corresponding to plural. That's nice. Let's read the second short conversation. Let's see. Diana. Diana, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes. Can you please read the next one? Why? Why were you co co co-worker? Co -worker? Disappointed in the meeting. In the meeting. Very good. What is disappointed? Decepcional. Excellent. Thank you. That's another feeling, right? Or the state of a person. So why were your co-workers disappointed in the meeting? That's nice. Thank you. Raquel. Tell me, teacher. Yes. Can you read the answer, please? Because? Because it was not interesting. Very good job. Thank you. So what was not interesting? What are they talking about? What is referring mm. it in the answer? The meeting. Que no fue interesante. Exactly, right? So it's referring to the meeting. That is in the case of mid repetition, right? In English, it's not necessary to be repeated and repeated. So can you imagine if you say in the question, why were your coworkers disappointed in the meeting? Ah, okay. My coworkers were disappointed in the meeting because the meeting, it was not interesting, right? Or mid repetition. You can make it short. And begin, what is important information? Can begin with the because. Really good, yes. Nice one. Wendy. Wendy. Wendy Beatriz. Claudia. Claudia. Daisy. The next one, please. Who was? Who was Jenny in the restaurant with? Restaurant right. with. Restaurant with. That's correct. Thank you. Continue, William. Okay. She was with her crush. Uh -huh. He looked very she, happy. She looked. Pardon, she looked very happy. That's correct. Very good. Nice. So look at here. It's true. She looked very happy. Oh. She's with her crush. 
So here, are they correct? Is the answer accurate or according to the question? Yeah, right. He's talking about yeah, Jenny. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's right. He's talking about Jenny. That's my subject, my principal subject. He's investigating who with. So she was with her crush. She looked very happy. WH question. Do you have any question about this? No question. No questions? All right. No. We're going to pass the list, guys. So let me know that you are present. And let's begin with Claudia. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. She has present with audio, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Claudia. Raquel Esther. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Marvin Vitalicio. Present. Thank you. Andrea de Los Angeles. Present. Thank you so much. Brenda Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Daisy Estefania. Present. Thank you so much. Diana Jamilet. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana. Fatima Larisa. Ah, uh, Espérame que voy a eso, solo decir present. Present. Fatima. No, no se esperaba. I'm here, Miss. Yes. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you. Julia Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Adamaris. <clears throat> Wendy Adamaris. William Alexander. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, William. Maria Mercedes. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria. Wilfredo Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Zulma Natividad. I'm present teacher. Thank you. Sandy Roxana. Present. Thank you very much. Wendy Beatriz. Wendy. Wendy she has in problems, the chat. right? In chat. Yeah, true. She thank said, you, thank you. She has problems, she, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. She's driving, I think. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Pablo Alejandro. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Pablo. Jennifer Saray. Present. Thank you, Jennifer. Freddy Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Betsaida Jasmine. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Estela Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Thank you, Estela. David Moises. David Moises, Daniela Beatriz, present. Thank you, Daniela. Eved Yaciel. Here. Thank you, Eved. Germán Ulises. Present. Present. Thank you, Germán. Eric Ronaldo. Eric. Present teacher. Thank you, Eric. Roberto Carlos. Roberto Carlos. Selena Yamilet. I'm here, me. Ya vamos a ver. Selena. <laughs> Hola, hermano José. Hermano José, hermano Iván. Somebody that I didn't mention. Someone that I didn't mention. No? All right. Let's continue then. Okay, we got with the form of WH. What the um... All right, Wendy. Yes, thank you. Okay, we got there our WH questions. Now let's go on. I bid you. That's referring to the simple past too, but of the verb to be. In this session, participants will study the past of B. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb be. Let's start. Past of be. 
Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. The past of be, am um, and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, states, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? All right, so there we got the structure. Now, let's verify here with some practice. We have some questions here, and they are mixed as yes, no question or WH questions. The first one, were you at the dance club last Friday? But Saida, what's an answer you could give? Were you at the dance club last Friday? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Excellent. That's right. Good. Okay. Now, let's formulate the other question. Herman Ulysses. Yes. Yes. Okay. Formulate this question. You are going to ask Wilfredo. Formulate the question with, to Wilfredo. The second question. You're going to repeat this question. So Wilfredo is going to give the answer. What time? What time? Uh huh. Were you? Were you? In the kitchen? In the kitchen. Right. Thanks, Wilfredo. So that's a W H question. I was in the kitchen uh, a moment ago. Ah, that's good. A moment ago. Right. Very good job. Nice one. Great, guys. Good. Estela. Estela Guadalupe. Yes. Yes. Okay. Read the next one, please. And you are going to formulate it to William. How long? How long were you at the piano lesson? Lessons? Lesson. Mm -hmm. That's good. This one is singular at the piano lesson William I have a piano lesson for a, an hour mm -hmm. okay so try to use the verb to be try to use the verb to be I was have the piano lessons for an hour I was I was. Yeah. Remember here, don't use another verb. Don't need to use I was had. Only I was. I was at. Ah, it's real. Yeah. I was have lesson piano for an hour. Good. I was. Don't need to use have. What's going on with Look at that here. You're using, if you say at the piano lesson, it's because it's referring to a place. Like if you yeah. say at the class, if you're saying at the academy. At the okay. restaurant is referring to a place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So don't need to use have. Yeah, Only yeah. conjugate yeah. the verb to be. Yes. Okay. Thank so you. Let's repeat it. How long yeah. were you at the piano lesson? I was the piano lesson for an hour. At the piano lesson? For an hour. 
for an hour. That's all right. So you have the duration. I was at the piano lesson for an hour. Very good job. That's right. Cool. Okay. Now let's continue. Daisy, let's see the next question, please. Were the, the girls happy the girls? in the were, were the, girls? the girls happy in the amusement park? An amusement park? A amusement park. That's right. Good. Look, amusement park is this one. It's like, do you remember consuma? Yeah. Yes? yes. All that area where you could go to the horses, right? Los caballitos, right? Like the Montaña Rusa. The roller coaster, all that area it was the amusement park. Also in Metro Centro, there is an amusement park, right? So you can also do a, the roller coaster. So with this one. So were the girls happy in the amusement park? What could be a possible answer? Maybe affirmative or negative? Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Excellent. That is correct. Good one. Okay, that will be some of the questions. Now, let's formulate others. Betsaida, you're going to formulate another question to Eric. Use the one that you prefer. Maybe yes, no question or WH. Remember, don't include another verb. It's only the verb to be in the past. Eric, were you at the short? Mm -hmm. At the church? Uh, last Saturday. Excellent. Very good. Last Saturday. Really good. Eric? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. That's all right. Very good. That's nice. Okay, now let's see. And Fatima, you're going to formulate the questions to Maria. Okay. Maria, how long were you at the class English? At the English class. At the English class. Very good. Thank you. Maria? I was. Uh -huh. My class. In my class or in my English class? Every day. But what time? Uh, to four hours. At? Four hours. At 4 p.m. probably. Because you refer to yes. the time. So a specific yes. hour okay. at 4 p.m. That's right. Good one. That's nice. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Daisy, now you're going to ask Brenda. Formulate another one. Remember that you can also use the emotions, the feelings. So you can also use this if you want. It can be why, how long, where, when. What were the gear surprise at the party? Why, right? Why? Do you investigate that reason? All right. Why were the girls surprised at the party? the party? Okay. Nice. Thanks. So what's the answer? Who's going to answer? Yes, I was. But why? Why? It's investigating about the girls. So it's they. Why were the girls surprised at the party? What could be a good reason? They were, maybe they were surprised for the clown. Ah, very good. For the clown, that's good. That's why they were surprised. That's good, okay? That was a good question there. Now, look, we have another exercise here. The one we're going to fill in together. It's to complete these conversations. Then we're going to practice it. We got the first one to fill. This one is a question. How could it be? How will you begin? Where? Where, okay, that's nice. Where? So complete the question will be, were you in New York last weekend? Estela, can you answer it, please? Yes, I? 
was. Was, right? Uh -huh, that's good. That's one is a short affirmative response. Good. No, I was. No, I wasn't. Excellent. No, I wasn't. This is negative. That's right. No, I wasn't. That's a short negative answer. It needs to be contraction. That's good. No, I, I was wasn't. in Chicago. I was in Chicago. That's right. So here is answering that this is negative about the question, but then it gives extra information in which place really the person was. I was in Chicago. Excellent. That's good. What is the next? How? Was. 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 Excellent. That's right. So that's investigating about something, right? How was it? It was great. It was that's great. It was great. Excellent. What's the next one? But it was. Was. Continue with was exactly. If it's my subject, is it? Okay, then it was. It was cold and windy as usual. It's describing the weather, how the weather was. That's great. What about number two? Freddy, continue, please. Where? How long? Where? Where? Yes, because my subject is your parents. So it's like they. How long were? How long were your parents in Chile? Answer. They were. They? They were. They? Uh, they were. Okay, that's nice. They were there for two weeks. That's the duration, right? Continue. Were. Now this one is a question. Where? Where? Where. Where? My subject is plural, correct. It needs to be capital, right? Mayuscula. Remember that also in the platform for one a small error and it says that it's incorrect. So we have to be careful. Tenemos que ser bien cuidadosos con la puntuación también, ¿verdad? Porque a veces con un puntito que va de más o el apóstrofe no nos lo acepta. Entonces, were they in Santiago, Chile? Or Santiago the whole time? Yes or no? It says no, right? No, it's they negative. Were. No, they, they weren't. weren't. They weren't. Excellent. We have a, also a contraction because it's short answer. They weren't. No, they weren't. They also went to Valparaiso. What did we do? So, Teacher. Number three. Tell me. We can say that was is for singular and where is for plural. Mm. In the case of was, you're going to use it for I, he, she, it. Basically, it's for plural. I and the third person. But in the case of where, not only for plural, because you can also use it for you as singular. Yes? So it can be for plural, but also for the subject you in the singular. So it's in both. Okay, so when, they, when, when we can know what... Uh, auxiliary use it depending on the subject look at here i'm going to like uh, remind here, here for example for example and i and you we can use was and where in the case of i look at here we have i was you were uh, he she it is only was we you they is where so basically, it's like this. If you use I, he, she, it, was. The rest of the subject, they are where. Just remember that in the case of the subject you, it can be singular or plural. But you use the same auxiliary or the same form of the verb to be. So where is not only for plural. And the exception is you. Can be referring to one person. Yeah, and yes. so so we can use uh, was for, for I for, for singular, I, but you is the the, the you, is the, that, you is yeah, the okay. mm -hmm. okay. the exception. You is the exception. Okay. Because they use the same manner, they use the same conjugation form. That's why in the same case of the verb to be in simple present, that you have you are for singular, but also you are for the plural. So you is the exception with the birth to be. 
that you can use for singular and also for plural. But then, if it's the third person form or including the first person like I, I, he, she, it was. You, we, they, where? Yes? Is it clear? Yeah, thank you. Yes? My pleasure. So we got it here, right? Okay, we got number three. What will be number three? Marvin, can you help us, please? Okay. Three. Were you, were you away last week? That's right. A yes, no question. Excellent. Were you away last week? Yes, I was in Madrid. Excellent. That's right. Yes, I was. Really good. Yes, I was in Madrid. That's good. Now, what about the next one? Really? How long? Where? 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 That's good. As my subject here is you, right? There, where, you there. And the last part, for almost a week, I was. Was. Was, correct. So I was there on business. Very good. Okay, now let's practice it. Wendy. Wendy. Sandy. Where were you in New York last weekend? Thank you. Good. Pablo, continue, please. No. No, it wasn't. I was in Chicago. Very good job. That's nice. Estela. How was it? How was it? So like we're fluent, right? How was it? How was it? Thank you. Diana. Diana Jang Millet. It was great. But, but it was cold. But was cold and windy as as usual. As usual. Very good. But it was cold and windy as usual. Thank you. Fatima. Number two. How long were you parents in Chile? Very good. Thank you. Wilfredo. They were there for two weeks. Really good. Thank you. Sulma. Were they in Santiago the whole time? The whole time? The whole the time. Whole time. Very good. The whole time it means the complete time. Very good. Thank you. Eric. No, they weren't. They also, they also, also went. Also? Also went to Valparaiso. Very good. Thank you. Number three, Maria. Where? Were you? You every last week. Were you away? Every last week. Away, away. Were you away? away. Were you away last week? That is correct. Thank you. Betsaida. Yes, I was in Madrid. That's right. Thank you. Margarita. Really? How long were you there? That's all right. Let's continue then. Claudia. Claudia, are you there? Marvin? For almost a week, I was there on business. Great, thanks. Any question, guys? All clear like the Asalwate. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that is a good reference. <laughs> like the Asalwate River, like the Colon River. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> No questions? No Clear? question, miss. No, no miss. question, miss. No question. Okay. Remember to work on the platform, please. All right? So that we need to advance on that. If it's possible for you to continue advancing, that is correct to do it. And we're going to continue practicing, okay? I'm going to send you more exercises. Le voy a enviar más ejercicios. More exercises to practice videos and more exercises and activities, all right? 
Okay, thank okay. you guys. Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Have a nice weekend. I'll you see you on Monday. Yes. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Happy thank weekend. You. Have a beautiful thank night. Sweet Good dreams. Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank Good you, night. everybody. Good night. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, tell me, William. But I want to, you know. to do the question just to you. Okay, <laughs> yes. Tell me, are you going to text me? Are you going to send me the okay. question? Okay, or, or... okay. Yes? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Then we're going to continue on Monday. Yes? William, you are going to write the question on the WhatsApp? Uh, I don't know if I have your your contact. Let me see. I'm going to send a message. Okay, thank you. In the group, so you can see their the contact. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy it. Relax. Thank you, guys. Beautiful dreams. Okay. Thank you on Monday.